Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, this is Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Monday. It is July the 12th. Well, we were on vacation for the past week, but hopefully you got to see the fireworks that went on between Jake and Deanna when they met for the first time post-breakup on the Bachelorette special last Monday night. But you might have missed this other Bachelor, Bachelorette breakup. Um, Jillian and Ed are no more. She has packed up and moved out of the condo they shared in Chicago, and he is wasting no time because he's been seen partying his butt off around town. Sources to say that Ed was acting pretty shady while he was with his fiance Jillian, so we don't know all the details yet, but that relationship, come on, doomed from day one. We all saw that coming. And in the meantime, former bachelorette Deanna Pappas, who was rejected, I believe, by Jason Mesnick, then came back and was bachelorette and picked Jesse, that snowboarder, ended up breaking up with him. Well, now she's engaged and planning a very quickie marriage to this guy named Steven Sagliano. His twin brother was actually a contestant on The Bachelorette trying to win Jillian's affection. Didn't work out for him, but he did set up his brother with Deanna, and that one worked out well. Now, if you want abs like JC, you can order the P90X by going through the link at kidlive.com. But if you want to have abs like the situation, you just have to wait a little while longer because he filmed a workout DVD last week in New Jersey. They got to do some editing and get that on the store shelves pretty soon while his 15 minutes of fame are still up and running. Ryan Seacast reportedly spent $15 million, or excuse me, that would be a little outrageous, wouldn't it? Ryan Seacrest spent $50,000, I don't know where I got $15 million, on dinner in Sardinia Thursday night, and that did include a $10,000 tip for the wait staff. Now, he was there at this business dinner with his girlfriend, Julianne Huff, so maybe he just wanted to look like a big shot. But we hear the dinner was really about Ryan, his contract's coming up at the end of the year with his radio gig in LA, and plus that's in syndication. Plus, we hear it might have had something to do with some talks with CBS, maybe they're trying to steal him away from Fox. That remains to be seen. Lindsay Lowen's lawyer quit last Tuesday after Lindsay was sentenced to 90 days in jail. We hear that um, Sean Chapman Holly found out that Lindsay was shopping around for a new lawyer. She kind of got mad and quit. Well, then the judge told her you can't. You have to stay with Lindsay until she finds a replacement and files that replacement with the court. It's not fair to leave her without representation. But we hear Ms. Holly's been very frustrated because Lindsay's not following any of her legal advice, refuses to return phone calls so she can't set up a court-ordered psychiatric evaluation for her. So unless Lindsay starts listening to her attorney or finds a replacement pretty fast, her chances at an appeal look pretty bad. And then finally, Saturday, what a huge celebrity wedding day. First, we had Carrie Underwood marrying Mike Fisher at what the Ritz-Carlton somewhere in Greensboro, Georgia. I don't know why they picked that estate, but I'm sure it's for its fanciness. No coincidence that it happened on July 10th, which happened to be Jessica Simpson's 30th birthday. And you remember that Carrie and Jessica had that little dust up over Tony Romo, where uh, Carrie claimed Tony was still texting her while he was dating Jessica. And then she wrote, wore this t-shirt said, you know, real women eat meat as a stab at Carrie. So I think there was a little something, something behind picking July 10th as the wedding date. But anyway, they got married in front of, you know, all the original American Idol judges, plus Faith Hill, Faith Hill Tim McGraw was there, Garth Brooks. And also getting married Saturday, Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. They got married at Lake Como in Italy. George Clooney was a guest at their wedding, and they stayed at his place um, there before the wedding happened. Uh, Denzel Washington, Eddie Murphy were guests at Martin Lawrence's wedding. He married his longtime girlfriend and baby uh, girlfriend's baby mama, uh, Shamika Gibbs, Saturday night at their home in Beverly Hills. And finally, MTV VJ or former VJ Lala Vasquez married her baby daddy, Carmelo Anthony of the Denver Nuggets. Their three-year-old son walked them down the aisle, and guests at their wedding at Cipriani Saturday night included Kim Kardashian and LeBron James. <sighs> I'm worn out, and that's your showbiz top five. Check out more blogs, pics, videos, and celebrity gossip, all at KidLive.com. KidLive.com.